come. It is time to keep your appointment with the Wicker Man. mythology. An occult hierarchy, a title that Dr. Stan has made widely known, that are operating behind the governments of the world, including the government of the United States of America, towards a new world order which will be headed by a personality identified in the Bible, which again Catherine was talking about earlier, known as the Antichrist, the true incarnation of a fallen angel. What have you done to it? What have you done to its eyes? He has his father's eyes. Oh, what have you done to him, you maniac? Satan is his father, not Guy. He came up from hell and begat a son of mortal woman. Hail Satan! Hail Satan! Satan is his father, and his name is Adrian. He shall overthrow the mighty and lay waste their temples. He shall redeem the despised and wreak vengeance in the name of the burned and the tortured. Hail Adrian! Hail Adrian! Hail Satan! Hail Satan! Infinity of terror. When our founders declared a new order of the ages, they were acting on an ancient hope that is meant to be fulfilled. Whoever said that evil just stalks the earth? It's always midnight. It is so powerful that men have died to protect it. Order. We have before us the opportunity to forge for ourselves and for future generations. A new world order. A world where the rule of law, not the law of the jungle, governs the conduct of nations. When we are successful, and we will be, we have a real chance at this new world order. An order in which a credible United Nations can use its peacekeeping role to fulfill the promise and vision of the UN's founders. What is at stake is more than one small country. It is a big idea, a new world order, where diverse nations are drawn together in common cause to achieve the universal aspirations of mankind. Peace and security, freedom and the rule of law. Out of these troubled times, our fifth objective a new world order can emerge. Now we can see a new world coming into view. 
a world in which there is a very real prospect of a new world order. The Council on Foreign Relations, known as the CFR, an organization publicly sworn to destroy American national sovereignty and usher in a tyrannical world police state, could not contain their glee on September 12th, the day after the tragic attack. They announced their new world order. There is a chance for the President of the United States to use this disaster to carry out what his father, a phrase his father used I think only once and hasn't been used since, and that is a new world order. What if the world's greatest works of art held a secret that could change the course of mankind forever?